Fallout New Vegas is a special game. It's D&D meets Mad Max. It's Fargo meets 50 Sci-Fi. It's American Psycho meets Spaghetti Western. And it's one of my favorite games of all time. New Vegas opens with the camera fixed on the moon. As the camera twists and pans back, we're able to see a broken down casino as an old Dean Martin song begins to play. And this is a great opening for the game because this is developer Obsidian's upside down and twisted version of Las Vegas satire couched in 50's science fiction aesthetic. Their magnum opus and an ode to a series they thought they had left behind. As the camera continues to pan Revealing a ruined city, still sparking with energy and violence, you continue outward to the wastes, where a man in a checkered coat assures you as he pulls out his pistol and takes aim, that this, like love, is in fact a losing game. When you come to, you met with the friendly face of Doc Mitchell, the man who brought you back from the brink, and it's here where the first strings of New Vegas' theme begin to sound. Because New Vegas is all about choice. Who do you want to be? What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? Who do you want to do it to? One of my favorite parts of RPGs is bringing characters I have already mapped out in my mind into the world of the game and seeing how they're able to confront the challenges the game presents. And no game does this better or more satisfyingly than New Vegas. I tend to play a character with a very specific set of characteristics and this character fits perfectly within the world of Fallout. He's the man with no name, he's Yojimbo the bodyguard, teller of tales, singer of songs, and a certain untruth that leads the evil and unwary to destruction. New Vegas is built on the strong foundation of Bethesda's reimagined Fallout, and reaches even greater heights with its excellent writing and open-ended gameplay. Whether you want to be a charismatic roving trader, a gunslinging swordsman, or a sledgehammer wielding psycho, the game allows you and encourages you to experiment and play around with the threads of quests and the very fabric of the game itself. And this is really writ large when you start interacting with the factions of the game. Kaiser's Legion and the NCR. You can work your way throughout the ranks of the Legion to the camp of the Kaiser, kill him in his tent, hop the river and join the ranks of the NCR. You can head to the strip and align yourself with the man in the machine, Mr. House, or tell them all to go to hell and reshape the wastes as you see fit. Or you can spend 50 hours out in the wastes searching for blue star caps and living off mole rats. It really is up to you. My favorite games have worlds that are fun to just be in. Worlds that seem to breathe and move with or without your presence and input and that seemed to have existed long before you arrived. And the wastes of New Vegas has that in spades. Mysterious, desolate, and endlessly explorable. And it's a game where I'm happy to get lost for hours on end. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear any feedback. Thank you. up and take it like sweet staven chains i'm the whining boy and i don't deny my